Welcome to the CAD Cage, brought to you by Zen Tech Consultants. In the CAD Cage, we put two CAD systems side by side and we test uh, some important design function and we tell you if one system is better or worse or if the two systems are awash. So let's get started with today's competitors, which are AutoCAD versus BricsCAD. And we're going to test the process of spacing and layout, right? A real common function that we all have to deal with. So what I've done here is I just have a, a simple drawing. And I'm going to use this concept of a conduit that I have in plan here today. Um, and I've got AutoCAD here on the left and BricsCAD on the right. And I'm going to start here with AutoCAD. And, and I just kind of drew these circles in at a random location. I don't know what the gap is here from the walls to the conduit, the red conduit. And what I want to do is I want to move that circle so that it is actually two inches off of the wall in both directions. Okay, that's how far out it has to be. So in AutoCAD, well, there are a couple of ways that I could do this. I could do a basic move command that I can move from the quadrant perpendicular and then move it back out two inches and do the same thing vertically. Right? Or I could go in and I could just do a basic offset of two inches. I right? take my construction lines, offset them both sides. Now, same thing right now. I can just go in and I can move right? and I can get, you know, do a shift enter here and go from the quadrant of that. Right? Oh, I missed it. Sorry about that. Don't know why I missed my quadrant, but I did. Right, move the quadrant. But you see the, the, the kind of stuff you have to deal with here. <laughs> this is makes me a little good. Right, there we go from the quadrant. Right, and I'm going to right click here and then I'll go perpendicular to that. Right, and then I have to do the same thing again. Right, I'm just going to move the command again. I'll just type the command this time right from the quadrant perpendicular to here. And then I have to erase my construction lines. Not a problem, right? We've all done that a million times. It's a pretty simple process. Does not take a whole lot of time. AutoCAD does a good job at that. Now I'm going to go over here and go to BricsCAD. And one of the things I like is that BricsCAD has this uh, concept they call nearest distance. And it's great because you don't have to do any of the construction lines. When you pick any two objects, it doesn't matter if they're blocks, circles, whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that line for the wall face and this line. And you see right away, it tells me what the distance is between those two objects. And I can adjust that. So if I want my two inches, I'm just going to hit two. Then I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to pick that. The, the first one you pick is the one that's not going to move, by the way. All right, but I can just go in here and just type two. And I'm done. I've got my whole setup laid out and manipulated and, and you know spaced exactly the way I want. So I think uh, advantage, Bricks Cat on that particular tool. I really like that nearest distance. Works amazingly well. What's cool about that is if you're using blocks, you can even use sub lines or sub entities of the block to align that way. So it's very, very nice. Um, so another tool that I really like here in terms of layer, right? One of the things we have to, to do very often is we have to get into mirroring. Okay. Um, and in AutoCAD, it's not a major problem. We can use our basic mirror command. So if I want to, you know, create a, a line, uh, where I have kind of, you know, between, um, what's going on here, maybe I got six inches right from center of pipe to center of pipe. So they have like a four inch gap. I think it's a two inch for, yeah, it's a one inch radius pipe, two inch diameter. Um, so to get six inches from pipe to pipe, well, what would I have to do? Well, all right, I'd have to go in and I'd have to create some kind of a, an extension line, right? And I have to go over this way, you know, six inches, okay? Draw that line, right? And then I could go ahead and I could mirror this. And I go to the midpoint here, right? Say, no, I don't want to erase the old one. Then I have to go back in again and erase my construction line. Again, very simple, easy enough to do. Uh, one of the things that is kind of in here. I'm just going to turn a command on here real quick because I have it off in BricsCAD is their manipulator tool, right? And I'm just going to turn that on. Um, I like this because when you click on items, it immediately comes up. And one of the features you have here is the ability to mirror in either direction using these arrows. So you see, I can just click here to mirror this. And you see, it's giving me a distance. Now, right away, I'm just going to click the copy feature because I want to leave the original one in place. But you see that now I can just go over and say, look, I just need to go over there four inches and hit enter and you see I'm mirrored and I can continue on if I need to, but you see just like that, there are no construction lines. There's nothing, you know, that I have to clean up or erase. Okay. It's, it's, it's kind of a straightforward setup. I'm zooming a little bit further in from that one. So it looks a little, little different in size, but the measurement is the same on both sides. All right. So it's a very easy thing for me to, to, to do that. So I like the manipulator tool in terms of spacing and layout. It really helps get things quickly where you need them to be. The other option that I am a big fan of here, Right, is you know when you're doing any kind of I'm just going to zoom out kind of into to fill up this room in both drawings. Um, when you're doing the layouts, right? Sorry, I'm just trying to get a little bit a little bit more space here. Um, 
you very often need to copy things in equal spacings, right? So in AutoCAD, we kind of have two options here. I can do the copy command, or I can do an array command, right? I can go in here and I can do the copy command, right? And I can kind of, you know, either copy from center to center to center, that works, right? But if I had specific distances that I needed that I wanted to copy along, I could go in here and I can either type them in. So if I want to go over and say, hey, I need to go over, you know, six inches in that direction, I can do that. But then I have to go in and say, now I need to go 12 inches. And then I have to go over here and say, now I have to do the math. I have to go 18 inches uh, and then 24 inches okay, and so on right, to get all the way down. Or I could go in and I could also do that copy command over here with an array. Right? Um, so if I want to go ahead and use the copy command, see I can go down here. Oop, I got to pick my mode for displacement. Then I can switch to an array. But now I got to figure out how many items do I have in the array? What's the spacing in the array? It's a, it's a whole series of steps. Right. Um, one of the things that I do like here about the just just the basic copy command when we're dealing with brick scatter, right? So if I go in and I do a copy, right? again, I'm going to start the same way, right? You see, I can just start right at the center there, right? But I can go in with this, right? And I can use a base point of displacement, right? Or I can go in and I can do it as um, a, a multiple repeat, right? When I do that, right? So in that respect, right, they're very, very similar in terms of what you can do. What I do like here, though, is I can use that manipulator tool. And if I just come over here and I click on this bar, it allows me to go in, right? And I can actually move or copy items, right? So I can go in and I say, I'm going to copy with a repeat. And you see what's great about that is that it lets me go in and put the first distance, right? So if I go in and say, hey, I'm going to go, you know, six inches, right? Then you see I can just move the line down. I don't have to do anything else. It just keeps repeating it every six inches till I get to the end. Real quick, easy way to be able to throw those numbers in. And I think advantage on that, absolutely for layout and spacing, getting basic design. Again, I'm using very simple circles here. But I think overall, winner today, Brickscat. All right, folks, we'll catch you next time on the CAD Cage.